to Apostle Mercedes Monden weekly broadcast. Get ready to be empowered and inspired today. Fear has torment. Perfect love casts out fear. You know, many people, maybe you are here and you are being tormented by the spirit of fear. I want to talk to you. You've been tormented by the spirit of fear. You are afraid to die. Uh, to take the next step, get involved in new projects, probably move to a different continent. Maybe the Lord is calling you to be a missionary or probably a missionary in the, in the marketplace or wherever the Lord is calling you. But because of fear, you are unable to, you're so scared to step into your next assignment. Fear is a spirit, and we need to get rid of that. That is my assignment uh, from the Lord to you this week. We are going to kill that fear. We are going to get rid of that fear. It's absolutely not good for you, especially we get a lot of mails, you know, for us to pray for, for us to pray for you, uh, to for God to deliver you from the spirit of fear. The Lord said that. The, Bible, the Word of God said that God has not given us the spirit of fear. Yes, you, you have not been given the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. God, you know, fear has torment. Fear has torment. So it is not possible for you to live with that spirit of fear. It is your time, your set time to be free from that demon. Is a demon. Um, and it's, 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 it's not possible. You cannot afford, you cannot afford to entertain it anymore, any longer than you've already been entertaining it. A lot of people are so tormented right now and all you hear is you can't do it, you can't do it. Perhaps you have a fear of men, fear of people, or fear of death, uh, whatever that fear is. But the word of God said that you will live and not die. That the number of your days will be fulfilled. So you, I'm saying you need to meditate on the word of God daily. Meditate on the love of God because the love of God is, is that perfect love for us. Yes, his love is perfect. His love is perfect and you can rest on that love. You can trust on the Lord. And, and meditate uh, on the Lord and um, everything he's spoken over your life. Are you scared of what people might say? Well, the Bible said that every tongue that is rising up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So what do you, it doesn't really matter about what people are saying. We need to renew our mind. Fear has torment. You, you, you cannot afford to be tormented. A lot of people are tormented. You are scared what will people say about me what uh, how are my children or you know whatever you are you worried about give it back to the Lord give it back to the Lord give it back to Jesus that he will perfect your love in that area I made that in, in, in illustration earlier today like if you have a child or your loved one uh, in the house that is burning this the fire there's fire everywhere and it's burning nobody will be able to hold you back from going through the fire to go and get your child from that room because your love for that child is perfect and you will not you you're not even busy with the fire you want to rescue that one so what are you afraid of why are you allowing the tormentor to torment you it's time to rise up fear you see it's time for you to go and occupy those things that the father has called you to do how long are you going to give in to fear? Meditate more on the word of God, the power of God. God is our divine protector. He is your protector. He's the one that keeps us from harm's way. Uh, uh, you know, you are even afraid to fly. <laughs> well, a lot of people fly every day. What makes you think your, your, 
flight is going to crash. You are protected in the blood of Jesus. So, I would say, arise from that place of torment because that, that spirit of fear has a paralyzing power to paralyze you, to discourage you, to stop you from entering into your into greatness. And sometimes we just manufacture things that are not even there. <laughs> you fear the you know the fear of uh, uh, of being afraid. You fear everything. Well, you are not afraid, then you fear that you are not afraid of anything. But the Bible, also, the Word of God, always also encourage us many times. He said, fear not. The way He said to Joshua, fear not. I'm with you. So He's saying that to us. He's saying that to you today. Yes. Fear not, for I'm with you. He said He would never leave you. He would never forsake you. So it's time for you to rise up and to get up, pick up that dream again, pick up that project again, pick up whatever the Lord is asking. Maybe you want to start traveling all over the world with your family. So go and do that. Fear has torment, and you are made perfect in Christ. Your love is made perfect in Christ. The love of God is being shed abroad in your hearts. Yes, the love of God is being shed abroad in your heart. God has got you covered. He has inscribed you in the palms of his hand. He knows you by name. And he loves you with an everlasting, everlasting love. So it's time to speak up and arrest that spirit of fear send that spirit of fear to the pit of hell where it belongs because we need fear and faith cannot walk hand in hand and without faith it is impossible to please God perhaps you're struggling and say you know what right now I'm in the midst of decisions and I don't know what to do and everything well pray about it pray about it learn to hear from God through his word and take the step of faith so this week we're going to be talking about fear we're going to be talking about how to get out of that uh, of that of that that of that place of fear and we're going to be breaking, you know, right now I just break every spirit of fear over your, over your life. In the name of Jesus, those, the, the, the limitations that the spirit of fear have created over your atmosphere, over your life is broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be set free, be set free by the power of Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you are free indeed because the son of the living God has set you free. So this week, watch my videos, watch out more of my videos, and uh, like, share my videos, let me hear from you, we'll be praying at the end of the broadcast. Uh, this week, we're breaking the backbone of fear. <laughs> fear has torment. Refuse to be tormented. You cannot afford to be tormented. No. Fear has torment. And your love is made perfect in Christ. Until next time. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'm a Baltimore Saints London. Check out my YouTube, Facebook, and I would like to hear from you. Uh, stay out of harm's way. Shalom. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you've been blessed by today's message. Follow Apostle Mercedes Monden at Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook.